साउथ अफ्रीका वॉज रिक्वायरिंग थर्टी रन इन लास्ट थर्टी डिलीवरी नो वन वॉज थिंकिंग ऑफ दैट इंडिया विल बी विनिंग दिस मैच बट फाइनली वॉट है हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू प्लूटस आई ए एस सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल टॉक अबाउट द सिनारियो आफ्टर प्रिलिम्स एज वी आर ऑल ऑफ अवेयर ऑफ दैट प्रिलिम्स रिजल्ट हैव बिन डिक्लेयर रिसेंटली एंड देर आर स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव क्वालिफाइड फॉर द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन एंड देर आर सम स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव यू नो डिड नॉट क्वालिफाइड द क्वालिफाइड फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन राइट सो डेफिनेटली दोज पीपल who have qualified they will be preparing for mains examination without any second thought right so need not to discuss about them particularly in this video i'll not talk about separately there will be video where i'll talk about the plan for those people uh, who are writing mains this year but in this particular video i'll talk about those people who have not cleared the prelims examination this year so what should be their strategy why they should not feel demotivated so i have written some points just to explain you just to you know give that boost that is required to you know motivate you so i feel that it will it will be helping you okay so as you see that heading is a uh, what after prelims result especially for those people i mentioned those who haven't cleared the prelims right so if you have cleared the prelims prepare for mains we'll talk about in the next video right and then if you did not clear this prelims examination then this video belongs to you right now i have some advisory now i have some you know tips for you now i have some you know uh, motivation kind of things for you okay so for all those people who haven't cleared prelims this year i just want to request that give a pause to your preparation and how much pause just for a day or two or for a week also no problem with that because this is not a very small game that you will be preparing for 3 or 4 months and you will be making it to the list no this kind of preparation takes time so i just want that you give a pause to your preparation and go back to the basic question what was that basic question that think why you started preparing for this exam right if 10 people are there or 100 people are there everyone will have different kind of motivation to prepare for this exam because every one of us would have you know uh would have went for some private job but certainly we opted for upsc preparation there has there there will be some motivation behind so i want you to remember that you just give a thought you talk to your family you talk to your near and dears and then you restart your preparation it will be helping you in restarting your preparation for example for example one person was thinking of serving the society one person was thinking of you know contributing in the nation building one person was thinking of contributing to his family for better education for better you know better facilities better you know uh, uh, living standard for his family or whatever motivation can be there or a particular section of the society was you know marginalized because of that that person you know motivated and started preparing for prelims uh, uh, this examination so i just want that at this point of time when you haven't cleared this prelim prelims examination you just give a thought to uh, the very basic level that why you started preparing for this exam it will be motivating you for sure okay one the two is that you were already aware of the nature nature of exam and its its success ratio so why i am talking about this because i just want to convey that whatever happened that you didn't make it to the list for the mains examination it is not something new it is not something very you know uncertain kind of thing right it is not very extraordinary because when so many people will be applying for this examination it is very natural that some of the people will be qualifying and rest of the people will not be able to okay 
so in this scenario we should be very ready for any kind of results and what is the key key is to working hard working hard day by day this is the you know thing that you should follow one prelims results or two prelims result or the means examination failure should not bother you should not stop you from dreaming for this prestigious job that is ias and ips right so i want that since you are already aware of the difficulty level already aware of the competitive nature of the examination and its success ratio very less people will be able to qualify so why you are worrying start preparing for next year with all that energy that you know that motivated you in the beginning when you thought of preparing for this examination right so i hope you will be having this point also in your mind and you will be start working uh, immediately and with great kind of energy then the next is you must have watched india and south africa final match the t20 world cup final match that took place between india and south africa what happened in that match the south africa was requiring 30 runs in last 30 delivery no one was thinking of that india will be winning this match but finally what happened india won the world cup how come how come because they didn't give up and they worked till the end they struggled they fought back so this match is great message to all the upsc aspirants that we should never lose hope we should start preparing again with great kind of energy with more motivation with more hard work right this is great message not for the upsc aspirants only but for everyone if you are in the business if you are in the you know uh, in job anything you are doing in your life it is a great message that you should not never lose hope you should fight back you should work more uh, you know uh, in comparison to earlier right so i believe you will be taking message from this particular uh, match also okay but there is when you are taking message from all these things there is one advisory there is a one cautionary measure that you should take what is that that cautionary measure is that you should follow the right path because in the upsc like examination it is equally important like what you are doing on daily basis it is not that you are just adding the quantity it is about the quality what you are studying is important so i'll particularly emphasize on this that you motivate yourself you prepare yourself to start your preparation again and you must ensure that you are following the right path and how exactly you you can follow the right path right path can be followed by the following the footprints of the toppers those who have cleared the examination in the previous years the suggestions given by your mentors and the teachers because they have already traveled through this path okay so traveling through the right path is very important it is very important when you will be going in the right direction with great kind of work definitely results will be coming but if you will be working very hard but not in the right direction it may not be producing good results for you so i'll highly recommend that you should have the great mentors with you and you should work accordingly whatever your mentors are suggesting right and you should have refer you should be referring to previous year questions also the examination pattern also and mold your preparation accordingly definitely it will be helping you in clearing this prelims mains and interview and all the stages of upsc so the conclusion of this particular session is that we should not feel demotivated we should be very positive we should be very energetic and we should be try to follow the right path and how we will be following the right path by following the guidelines by the people who have already traveled through this path okay and for this we have the year long mentorship program for 2025 which will be covering the prelims and the mains examination so all those people who want to take guidance from us we are very ready to provide that and uh, i believe that that guidance will be uh, will be in a very synergetic manner that your effort and our effort will be coming together and it will be producing good results so thank you very much this is all for this video and we will be meeting in the next thank you